testifying against Senate Bill 6. Members of the committee, unfortunately I cannot thank you for hearing my testimony today. In fact, if it were up to me, none of us would be here for such a hateful bill. Yes, I said hateful. I wonder how many of the testimonies you hear today begging you to reject this bill will be ignored the way you ignored the 16 hours of testimony for another hateful, hateful bill, SB4. I've listened to members of the committee and other senators profess their support for the digni dignity and humanity of all Texans. Yet the privilege of invited testimony and unchecked time today was given to people who espoused openly hateful rhetoric, not facts, as well as those who are listed by the Southern Poverty Law Center as leaders of anti-LGBTQ hate groups. As a student and proponent of social justice, I feel it incumbent upon me to speak out against your attempt to demonize transgender Texans as perverted and or predators threatening Texas girls and women. It was you, after all, Senators Colquhurst and Huffman, that invited bigots like Tony Perkins to spout anti-trans ideology as fact. It is woefully ironic that so many people testifying in favor of this bill have called the concerns of business leaders like the Texas Association of Business fear-mongering, while proponents of SB6, including its author and co-authors, have marketed and ginned up fears about elementary age sexual predators. Historically, our government has used a specter of sexual violence against women to target and criminalize marginalized groups. Someone claimed earlier that SB6 is about states' rights. I could not agree more. SB6 is exactly what is wrong with states' rights because, like Jim Crow laws of the last century, it represents the right to discriminate. During the Jim Crow era, the fear of non-white men attacking white women was responsible for some of the most reprehensible hate crimes in American history, including the murder of Emmett Till and hundreds of lynchings that occurred between the 1880s and 1960s. Now, a century later, the astroturf fears of anti-LGBTQ Texans threatens to recreate the nefarious forms of states' that, rights that's that protected and Thank reinforced you. dangerously behaviors. Your time is up, behaviors. sir. Thank you. Tina Sparkles? Hello.